Uh, let's get the thoughts from uh, Melbourne itself, from uh, Pat Cash, who's with Catherine. And Catherine, just describe the kind of buzz in Melbourne right now. It is utterly extraordinary, Rob. Aside from the 15,000 people lucky enough to have tickets for the Rod Laver Arena tonight, there are probably 10,000 plus, well in excess of 10,000 people that have paid $30 just to get in through the gates here and be in the presence of history being made. They've opened up the Margaret Court Arena. They've got big screens on there for 7,500 people to watch. I hear rumours that the winner of the title is going to head on to the Margaret Court Arena and do some sort of trophy presentation there as well. It is absolutely fantastic as a fan experience here in Melbourne, isn't it, Pat? Oh, it's absolutely manic at the moment. It's, it, it really is. Everybody's so excited. It's, it's kind of like, you know, it's like Fraser and Ali, you know. It's people, it, it, these, it's so, such emotional between the, the fans here. And, uh, you know, it's, it's Rolling Stones or the Beatles. Who do you like better? You know, uh, Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple. I keep going on about rock and roll stuff, but, you know, you get my, you get my point. And people are so passionate about this. And most people I've been talking to, Want Roger to Roger to win, uh, and, and uh, we'd like to see. Oh, I'd like to see the old old guy win. I mean, they're both kind of old guys. <laughs> uh, but it's interesting about most of the, what what most of the experts I've been talking to have been saying. They're picking Rafa as far as the people down here. Conditions here are absolutely perfect for tennis. A bit of breeze. Rafa's probably going to kind of like that because it's cooler. We didn't, he didn't really want a hot. Not that it's going to be ever really hot at night. Very rarely here in Melbourne. But you know, he he's after that five-hour battle. I tell you, that's, uh, it takes a lot out of him, so he's quite happy to have a bit of cool breeze and, uh, and uh, his footwork's the best there is, so uh, a bit of breeze sweeping across the course is not going to affect him. Yeah, they're expecting about 24 degrees Celsius inside the stadium tonight, not a lot of breeze, perfect conditions for tennis really. I saw Roger Federer in the Player Cafe just a few minutes ago. You've never seen a man look so relaxed. It was utterly extraordinary. I saw on Twitter that he had been seen chatting to Rod Laver moments before. He might look that relaxed, but surely, surely there will be nerves from both these two tonight, given what's on the line. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, they, neither of them have played a lot of tennis as well the last six months. So, but look, they're, they're incredibly experienced. And, you know, I mean, I, Roger was probably sitting there with his slippers and, you know, sipping a cup of tea. But he, there will be some tension there. And, you know, I, I tend to think that he... He might, this might be the greatest opportunity for him. You know, five-hour tired Rafa, quick court. Uh, the ball's not bouncing up above his shoulder because of the because of the way the balls are this year. It te I tend to think that if Roger doesn't get this one, it might be the one that slipped, that got away. Interesting. Well, you say that you've been speaking to experts, ex players, and everything. The wealth of feeling in favour of Nadal is that simply because of the overwhelming head-to-head -head in favour of Rafa? Purely and simply up there, they say. But he'll just get he'll just get into Roger's head, pumbly pumbly his backhand uh, until uh, he wears him down. But I'm not so convinced about that. It could be very very interesting. We just hope for a fantastic match. All these thousands of people inside Melbourne Park hope for a, fa a fantastic match. We've got Rafa fans behind us. Don't you worry, there are plenty of Federer fans here as well. It is an utterly extraordinary carnival atmosphere in Melbourne Park tonight.